Hello and welcome to Techie Hive. In the previous video, we talked about top Java interview question related to Java absolute classes and Java interface. Today, we will go uh, one step further and uh, we'll talk about another top Java interview question uh, related to the uh, hash map and the question you can see on the screen. When a Java class is used as a key of a hash map, why equal and hash code methods of the class need to be overridden? So these hash code and uh, you know equal methods they are inherited from the object class. So base class of Java is object class, and, uh, and these two methods are inherited in all of the classes of the Java. So here, question is when you use a class object as a key of a hash map, why do you need to override equal? and has code methods of the class. Through this question, interviewer wants to know that you have a deep understanding of the hash map and you understand how hash map uh, works internally. Let's jump into the answer straight away. A hash map in Java is a map data structure that stores key value pairs using hashing, allowing fast access, insertion, and deletion of the data based on a unique key. So basically, on high level, uh, hash map is one of the data structures you might have learned in the engineering course to store key value pairs. Here is the simple example of a hash map containing uh, four entries, and each entry in the hash map contains at least key and value. And the location of the entry in hash map is calculated by the hash function. So key is used to find the hash key and then has key will belong to a particular bucket. So hash map can be considered as collection of the buckets where each bucket is identified by the hash key. So in this example, we have keys, null, Patrick, Eddie, and Adam. Let's see how these entries are made to the uh, hash map. So let's take example of the null key. So here for, for this element, sorry, this entry, uh, we have the key value null. So this null key will be will be uh, passed to the hash function, and then hash function will give the location of the bucket, and that is zero here. So this is the you know, location of the bucket. We can say this is the hash key. So here this hash key maps to bucket zero, and element inserted at the uh, index zero in the bucket. Next hash key is Patrick, and uh, you can see here that when we apply uh, has may, uh, has function to the uh, to the Patrick key we get one so it will go to the bucket number one here then we apply has function to the Adam key and now we get the one again so this is a collision here the has key or the location of the Patrick and the Adam keys are pointing the same bucket so that means they will go into the bucket number one and when we have collisions in the hash map, when more than one value of one keys are mapping to the same hash value, then Java stores the entries as a linked list. And uh, when the number of collisions and the number of entries in, uh, in a bucket are more than a certain number, that number is configurable in uh, Java, it, I think it's 10. So, when uh, number of entries in the bucket number one will reach more than 10, then this linked list is converted to the red black tree. That will make search efficient. Okay, so let's go to the next key. Here we add is. So add is mapped to the has, uh, has key two, and it will go to the bucket number two. And we don't have any value or any entry in bucket number three. Okay. So this is very simple example of the you know, hash map, and uh, now you understand how the values are stored in the hash map. Next thing is how we can get the values from the hash map now, because we have inserted the values, but now we want to get the values. So simply we will use the key. Okay, we will use the key to find the value or the entry in the hash map. So now it's a reverse of what we did when we inserted the entries over here. 
so again we will use the key we will calculate the hash you know hash value and then we'll find the bucket corresponding to the hash value and then we'll get the value so if there is only one entry it's fine you can we can just get that easily right but when there is collisions when there are more than one entries like like you know bucket number one here like so because both patrick or adam they are mapping to the same you know uh, uh, you know has key here so here we have the list of the you know list of a uh, list of the uh, elements over here and now based on the has key we cannot get the value directly right because there are multiple values so in that case java will use the equal method of the keys right equal method of the keys. so here we have the string so it will use the equal method of the key and will check uh, which you know uh, like uh, which key is mapped to the which element here right so because it's now here what we have done here we, we know the bucket right we know the bucket but we don't know the you know which entry we have to pick so in that case we will use the key to compare or to, to to find the element in the list and we get that that's the reason we need to uh, we need to override equal method of a class when we want to use that as a key so generally has code method is used to calculate to get the has code unique has code and if there are collisions and uh, uh, multiple entries are you know mapping to the same bucket then uh, then java use the key to compare each of the entry and finds the right you know entry in the uh, hash map so that's the main reason we need to override hash code and uh, you know uh, equal method of uh, uh, java class when we use that as a uh, key of the hash map right next uh, let's see how java generates the uh, unique uh, hash value to minimize the collisions in the hash map so here are the steps uh, uh, how java generates the hash value for the hash map first uh, it calls the key key hash code method to get the hash code of the object right next uh, apply extra hashing hash spreading to minimize the collisions or to make the hash value unique so here has equal to hash code and then we have you know we did some spreading over there and at the end it determine the bucket index and the hash map store the entries in the internal array as i mentioned earlier in the form of bucket called a table of buckets the index is found by index equal to n minus one and and hash so here the you know you can see that uh, number of buckets are the number of you know elements in the array so where we can say the number of buckets or you know array length okay so let's prove this by a simple example here i have written a simple code for uh, creating hash map and uh, i have used uh, a java class as the key so i have created a uh, bad key class in bad key class I have just you know overridden has code method and also I have overridden equal method right and just for printing I have also written twisting method so you can see here we are making four entries to the hash map and uh, the hash code for each entry is the same so that means all entry will go to the same bucket right and uh, when we try to get the values from the bucket then java will need the equal method to you know find the values correctly so let's uh, uh, see this by commenting out this part okay and uh, run it so you can see here nothing is found because the equal method which is inherited from the object base class is not sufficient to compare the keys of the java class so that's why we need to override 
uh, equal method. Okay, so let's go there and run it again. You can see all values are found. So that proves when we want to use a Java class as a key of the hash map, we need to override equals and hash code methods. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hope you like it. See you in the next video.